Hey everybody, welcome back to Highway Flyer. I know it's been a while since uh, I've been on here. Various reasons for it. Some are good, some aren't good, uh, some are valid, some probably aren't. But let's just start out by saying this year has sucked. I have been not impressed with this year at all. And there's been some personal challenges, there's been some family challenges. Uh, things that have absolutely knocked me off my rails, and uh, it takes a while to get back up and get moving again when that happens. But uh, things are getting better, and uh, including the weather. Uh, the weather here, uh, even though it acts bipolar, and I think it needs a Prozac, uh, it's been all over the board. In the past month, we've had quite literally just about everything you could you could get. We've had thunder, we've had wind, we've had rain, hail, snow, freezing temperatures at night. Um, you know, last weekend one day it was uh, almost 80 degrees. Uh, the next day it was 60. Wednesday it was 75. Thursday it was 52. Yeah, it's getting better. It's it's probably going to be in the mid 70s this weekend, and then by next Thursday they're saying we're going to hit 90. So, who knows what's going on? What I do know is I've been spending a lot of time over the last couple of weeks getting my bike ready uh, for some road trips. Uh, got it all serviced up, got uh, everything checked out, and got a new set of tires put on it. Which, as a side note. If you're riding one of these, Michelin Commander 3s. I put a set of those on last year. I'm getting ready to take off on a trip that I'm going to go into here in a few minutes that is going to carry me over about 10,000 miles. I have about 20,000 miles, just shy of 20,000 miles on that back tire. And I probably still had another 5,000 left in it. But because I'm going to be going so many miles and because supply chain issues with tires, I just decided to put a new set of tires on it now so that I don't have to worry about it when I go. They're not the cheapest tire out there, but boy, they handle well. I love how they ride. And like I said, I could easily have pulled 25 or maybe even 26,000 miles out of that tire had I not replaced it now. So, But speaking of the summer trip, uh, been working on this for a while and leaving in about a week and a half and going to be gone 33 days. Like I said, we're going to cover about 10,000 miles. My buddy Craig and I are going. We're going to go through 17 states. We're going to ride a shit ton of back roads. We're going to visit some old friends, uh, see a lot of places I have not been yet. And we're going to go to all these kitschy little Americana roadside stops, the world's largest buffalo and the world's largest six pack. And uh, which, by the way, thanks to Two Wheels Big Life for doing a story on that about a year ago that got added to the trip as soon as I found out about it. There's a place in Nebraska. The guy created a replica of Stonehenge out of cars. I mean, you can't get more American than that. So we're going to do that. I've got some other trips planned for the summer. Uh, we'll see how those plan out. Uh, you know, cost is always a factor because hotels are getting expensive. Gas is ridiculously expensive and there doesn't seem to be any relief in sight. I'm not going to get into the reasons for that because this isn't a political channel. This is a motorcycle channel and by God, I'm going to put some use to this motorcycle this summer. In the meantime, I have two books that are out on the market. Uh, the first one is Life Behind Bars. It was published in 2013 and I'm biased, but I think it's a great story uh, about a cross country trip that uh, a friend of mine and I took back in 2011. And then the new book just came out this earlier this year and it's The Long Road Home. And uh, the reviews on this have been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I am really humbled by how well people like this book. So. I'll have the links to that down below, my Instagram, my Facebook, all of that stuff, because I'll be posting uh, stories from the road and pictures from the road. Do a few videos too. Doing videos on the road is always a little tough. It takes a little bit of time to get these videos ready, especially out on the road and you're filming ride videos. It takes a while to edit those down, so they're a little tougher to do from the road. And in the meantime, keep your knees in the breeze and I'll see you on the road.